Alcohol's effects on the brain are quite complex, so just about any substance that people experience some kind of pleasure from tend to affect the brain centers that are involved in reward and control. And then over time with the addiction, the brain gets used to having that, uh, that, that external stimulant there, and what ends up happening is some of those dopamine receptors kind of get used to having that, and they end up either becoming less sensitive or less productive of dopamine means so that when you stop your brain's not really ready for that and that's that's a this sort of oversimplifies it, but it's a part of what is involved with withdrawal. But alcohol has effects in lots of different areas of the brain, not just that sort of reward area, but it's also involved in a range of other neurotransmitters beyond dopamine. So, you know, things like glutamate and GABA and other parts of the brain, the hippocampus, which is involved in memory, the uh, cerebellum, which is the back part of your brain that's involved in, in motor coordination. And likewise, when, when someone is alcohol dependent, um, it, it's, it is one of the most destructive drugs to various parts of your, of your body and different organ systems. From the top down, a chronic alcohol dependence can have significant effects on cognitive functioning, memory, motor coordination, all which is controlled up in the brain. And you can have esophageal problems down into the stomach, pancreas, the liver, because the liver is the organ that kind of clears a lot of the toxic things out of our body. When that starts shutting down, it not only is not able to really process alcohol and its toxic byproducts well, but there are other things that it just starts you starts losing functioning. And when that starts going, it's a, uh, it's a very serious physical problem. Worst case scenarios can be things like alcohol-related dementia or delirium, which are serious brain problems, or cirrhosis would be another really major problem. You know, these are things that people become extremely ill and need to go into a nursing home, or people just die from.